I guess we've all heard of cholesterol, and you probably also know too high cholesterol can be dangerous. But do you know if your cholesterol is too high? Do you know why it is dangerous? And most importantly, do you know what you can do about it? Well, in this video, I will cover all these answers and many more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. And for those of you who are meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate you, my viewer. But remember, I'm just a random doctor from the internet. I know nothing about your personal situation. So always contact your own doctor with personal questions. Let's get learned. <music> So before I can explain to you why high levels of cholesterol are bad, it's important to recap cholesterol. What is cholesterol, you may ask? Cholesterol is a lipid. It's a waxy substance carried through your blood, attached to proteins. This combination of proteins and cholesterols is called lipoprotein, of which there are two types. First of all, you have low-density lipoproteins, LDL, which is considered the bad form of cholesterol, which plays a huge role in the process of arteriosclerosis. More on that later. The second form is high-density lipoproteins, HDL. Those are considered the good cholesterol. Those pick up the excess cholesterol and takes it back to your liver. Here, it is important to mention that cholesterol as a whole isn't bad. In fact, it's essential as it is an essential component of animal cell membranes. Your body also uses it to produce steroid hormones, bile acid and vitamin D. In a nutshell, this means your body needs cholesterol to remain functioning. However, if your cholesterol levels are too high, especially the LDL, this can lead to increased levels of cardiovascular risk. This is due to the fact that cholesterol plays a role in the process of arteriosclerosis, where over the period of years, fatty deposits are formed into your blood vessels. These plaques may grow and may obstruct the blood flow out of blood vessels and ultimately might rupture or create blood clots. These could lead to serious complications of cardiovascular disease. And this process of arteriosclerosis can be sped up by several risk factors, and I think you know most of them. Being overweight, having a sedentary lifestyle, not exercising, having a lot of stress, smoking, drinking too much alcohol, having a high blood pressure, and yes, a high cholesterol. Which brings us to the also important question, when is your cholesterol actually too high? If your doctor would do a blood test, your total cholesterol level should be under 200. If they are above 240, they are considered too high. Your LDL level should be less than 100, and above 160, they are considered too high. Your HDL should be above 40, and is considered optimal above 60. And you might wonder now, how do I know that my cholesterol levels aren't too high? This is a very good question, and the short answer is you don't, as a too high cholesterol does not cause any specific symptoms. Therefore, it's often recommended to screen your cholesterol levels every one to two years, especially for men older than 45 years of age and women older than 55 years. However, if some of your family members have a high cholesterol, or if you do have any of the previously mentioned risk factors, then it might be important to get tested earlier and get tested more often. If you do visit your doctor, he or she can help you to find out the extent of your cholesterol levels and your cardiovascular risk. Your doctor might do this by asking about your medical history, your current problems and your symptoms, the medication you're using, and afterwards your doctor might do a physical examination, blood pressure measurements, an ECG, which is a recording of your heart's electrical activity, and some blood tests. Furthermore, your doctor might also refer you to a cardiologist or a dietist, depending on the underlying problems and causes. And this doctor will refer you to the like and subscribe button. Now, all jokes aside, these videos cost me a lot of time and effort to make, and I hope you're learning a lot. If you do, then consider to click the like and subscribe button. It's free, you can always change your mind. That helps out the channel tremendously, and in return, you will get notifications of weekly awesome videos. Let's continue. Which brings us to the most practical part of this video. How can you prevent a high cholesterol or how can you lower it once it's too high? And it all starts with lifestyle. Exercise at least 150 minutes each week. Consume a balanced diet with low levels of saturated fats, salts and sugar. Eat plenty of fibers, fruits and vegetables. Maintain a healthy weight. Have a structured sleeping schedule of 7 to 9 hours of sleep each night. Quit smoking. Drink alcohol in moderation or stop drinking it and decrease stress by maintaining social contacts, doing fun activities and relaxing. 
However, implementing these lifestyle interventions only get you so far, and sometimes your doctor might recommend some drug treatment. Your doctor can usually start with statins. Those are the most common prescribed medication for high cholesterol. They inhibit an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase, which normally plays an essential role in the synthesis of cholesterol in the liver. This lowers circulating LDL, total cholesterol, and increases HDL. Usually, this is a permanent medication of which you need one tablet each day, and I made specific videos on each of the statins. You can find them in the description. Other useful medicines for high cholesterol might include Ezetimib, Fibrates, Alirocumab, and Evolucumab. I hope you now know what cholesterol is, when it's too high, and what you can do about it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you that want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description with more videos on your cardiovascular system. If you did learn something, please click the like and subscribe button. It will help out the channel tremendously and help me grow. And in return, you will get weekly notifications for awesome videos. I want to thank you once more for watching it. I want to give a special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investigative supporter. And if you can't get enough, check out the Instagram as well, at HowToMedicate. We'll see you next week with a new video. Bye-bye.